If you're watching this video, you probably worn or bought merch. From a Nirvana shirt at Target to sweaty tour merch right out the pit. We're gonna talk about music merchandise between rap and metal. So right at the gate, let's talk about how metal band shirts have the most illegible text I've ever seen. I have no idea how someone's supposed to know what the hell's on your chest. And the amount of self-titled merchandise is giving a lack of effort. Masks, shot glasses, grinders, lighters, and hot sauces. And for some reason, coffee? It's not a coincidence a lot of these merch lines come around album time too. If you look at hip hop, they took fashion to a new level. Few artists creating a merch line of clothes no longer being attached to the music catalog and actually selling what the artists envision themselves wearing. I think the word merch sometimes dilutes 100%. what some of the stuff is because nothing in here, nothing in here says my name. Nothing in here says wolf or goblin or cherry bomb. Yeah. Nothing in here says the songs I wrote. These are, this isn't just a, a yeah. artist just putting yeah, yeah. his name on stuff and it's sold at a merch booth right. or theartistname.com. We do have to realize these shirts are also supposed to go into pits and raves, so I do kind of understand why they're not doing too much. But tour merch being the peak of your clothing is kind of weak. We can't ignore hip hop's influence on fashion. I'm sure everyone's seen Yeezys before. And even if you don't like the shoes, I think anyone can appreciate when an artist makes something new instead of doing what works. With what mentioned in the last video, it's no wonder rappers have an easier time making the conversion. Metal fans probably just don't care to consume that stuff from their favorite bands. Hell, I'm fine with just a shirt or a patch, but you can't deny the creative risk taking these artists make. But a lot of rappers are lazy, wearing a lot of trending brands or partnering with already established brands like Revenge and V-Loan. One of the biggest issues with musicians making merchandise is how the audience views the price. If we see a large artist make expensive merchandise, we cringe, but we'll spend the same amount of money in another store. But how do you guys feel about metal merchandise? Are you guys fine with a graphic tee and a signature? Or are you guys looking for something more? Let me know in the comments. Do you know any bands making creative merchandise outside of their catalog? If so, let me know. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're enjoying this whole metal versus rap thing and you want to get a little bit more of an understanding, make sure you click the video right over here.